These are exciting times for the Vancouver Whitecaps. On the pitch, the team is coming off the best season in their brief MLS history. And off the pitch, the club is continuing to grow its national network, including here in the Kootenays, where they're developing more talent than ever before. Locally, we've probably tripled. That's not a growth in terms of we've gone out accepting absolutely everybody. We've gone through the correct procedures, we've worked with the associations, and we've gone through the correct selection process and, and evaluated players. With the addition of the South Prospects Academy, there are now three academies throughout the region, all of which are invite only. Something regional head coach Brett Adams says is a reflection of how far the local talent level has come. The players, have, in the, especially in this area, in Cranbrook, have just gone from strength to strength. Uh, their ability is improving all, all the time. And we, we felt it was right to turn that into, uh, into a prospect centre. Now in her second season, Invermere's Linnea Rajay makes the hour and a half trip to Cranbrook twice each week. We learn a lot of like different technical skills, uh, really gets your cardio up and yeah, just like get handling the ball and uh, touches and stuff in general, yeah. Not only does she come on the midweek, but she also comes on the weekend, showing a tremendous amount of um, dedication to our programme and is getting better and better and stronger all the time. Also making the trip down from the Columbia Valley is Emily Stober, who has relished the opportunity to take her game to another level. I've been excited because I love soccer, I love the game, and I thought that it would be nice to have like more endurance and yeah, more practice. Fantastic appetite for the game, great to coach, really, really takes everything on board, and uh, you know we would be looking to to push her as the, as the years go on because we still got quite a few years of coaching with Emily. So if I come here and I'm a target player and I point for the ball, yes, I love it. So play it there. I'm telling you that I want the ball. Rajay and Stober are part of a growing female presence at the academy. Well, that's been unbelievable. I mean, we it's a 50-50 split. It, it's not it's not overweighed by the boys. In, in fact, in, in, in certain centres, we're more overlaid by the girls in terms of our numbers. And the Whitecaps are hoping these academies will act as a springboard for girls looking to continue playing soccer after high school. Trying to work with these players that have identified colleges and schools that they want to go to. First and foremost, their course is huge, but also a good soccer program for us to get them into. We're putting resumes together and we're contacting college coaches and we're trying to get these players looked at. For more information on the Whitecaps academies, visit whitecapsfc.com slash youth. For go in Cranbrook... I'm James Farnan.